Meredith Wega Perez from Belle Fleur on Fifth Avenue in New York City, and I've got some great tips for Valentine's Day. I would say the most popular floral varieties for Valentine's Day are peonies, garden roses, sweet peas, anemones, ranunculus, I can go on and on. The key is stay away from the traditional red roses. That's a major no-no. Valentine's Day is a huge holiday for us. Um, I think what we love best is when clients call three to four days in advance, and that way they can get exactly what they want and they can ensure an early delivery. The perception is, is that most men send flowers to women on Valentine's Day, but in our case, it's quite the opposite. A lot of women love treating their men, boyfriends and husbands uh, and brothers and sons to flowers on Valentine's Day. Equally important to beauty is scent. There is nothing like receiving a bouquet of flowers and putting your nose to it, and all of a sudden you're carried away. You're just completely enthralled with this bouquet that smells delicious, whether it has scented geranium in it, or fresh hyacinths, or lily of the valley. There's so many amazing scents that's gonna really just sweep somebody off their feet. So ask your florist for fragrant flowers. Some people are quite cynical on Valentine's Day. They think that it's just such a contrived holiday. But trust me when I say, flowers go a long way.